Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another festively action packed episode of Christopher Butcher and Friends. Now this video is probably going to be, I'm not saying it definitely is because I might find time yet but I'm pretty certain it might be the last video I'll do before Christmas because like I said I touched on the live stream the other night. I am working nights next week so I might not get a chance, unless I get a few hours in the afternoon, I might be able to knock something up, a bit of a super cool review or something, but other than that, I'm not holding up much up. Oh, and I ain't got a sand trap, so we'll have to do this. Stand still, Chris. Stand still, because I've mastered the art of editing yet. Hopefully, there's a sand trap on top of my head. I'm not just stood here looking like a dickhead. Right. Yes, we went in Heaven Foods two weeks ago on the uh, thanks to In The Kitchen With Pen that put us onto it. Uh, and we bought their £15 Christmas dinner. And today is the day we're doing it. Now, we all know times are hard at the minute, and the times have been hard for a while. And uh, £15, now, for me, it looks like you get a lot of stuff here for your money. You might be able to do it, basically. A bit more basic and cheaper, but it's all here. Everything you need. We've got uh, chantonnay carrots with butter. We've got a turkey joint, pork stage and onion stuffing. You was option to uh, have a glazed ham instead. You've got your Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire potatoes, uh, Yorkshire puddings, because I'm looking at them at the same time, Aunt Bessie's roast potatoes, Aunt Bessie's stuffing balls. We've got 12 pigs in blankets, Brussels sprouts with bacon, and we've got red cabbage with apple. So, uh, yeah, we all know it was £15 from the Heron Foods, and uh, it's going to take me about an hour to figure out in what order we cook it, but... Uh, I think we should crack on with the uh, turkey joint. Right, I've slightly changed the angle a little bit here, just so I can get in. And uh, the turkey takes, uh, uh, where are we up to? You cook it for 100 and, uh, 115 minutes, then you uh, take the film off, you take the file off, you take the film off first, then you put the file on. I'm gonna cover it in file, and then cook it for a further, after I took it off for 15, 20 minutes. So the first thing I need to do, is put this on for an hour and 15 minutes. But after an hour, then I'm gonna start doing everything else because the chantonnay carrots and the Brussels sprouts I can do in the microwave, they take minutes. The red cabbage has to go in the oven. So I'll put that in there with the uh, with the turkey. The pigs in blankets have to go in the oven. So I'll put them in the grossing tin with the turkey. And the raw potatoes, 30 minutes. My Aunt Bessie's stuffing balls are about, uh, what did I say, 20, 25 minutes, uh, 10 to 12 minutes in the air fryer. So then we're going to go in air fryer with the Aunt Bessie's. And uh, the Yorkshire, not the Yorkshire puddings, yeah, the Yorkshire puddings, they're going to take uh, a few minutes. So that's it. Right, lid off. It's not very big. It's supposed to feed four, I forgot to tell you that. But that doesn't look too bad, does it? Smoke streaky bacon on top. Do you know what? You can't fault that. So let's get some uh, tin for this found screwed up in cupboard. So I only need a bit. Get it covered. Tin foil on, baby. And uh, I'll see you in 50 minutes when we put the uh, pigs in blankets in. So yeah, oh, roasted tip. In like that, then I can put the pigs in blankets in inside of it, like that. Is that it? All the red cabbage has to go in as well, so I might. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, oh, I'll do the pigs in blankets in air fryer. I'll cook that in there, and they take 40 minutes. So, yeah, 50 minutes. We'll be putting the red cabbage in. 
then we'll start putting our pigs in. But you know, you, know, you get the drifts, right? You'll see it. Quickly show you what I've got set up here now. So, we've got our pigs in blankets ready to go in the fill fryer. The Yorkshire puddings I'm going to put in the bottom of the fill fryer when then we've got about five, six minutes left. We've got our red onion to go in the oven with the, the turkey. And I know I do apologise. I am going to microwave the sprouts and the carrots. It says I can do. They're probably not going to do it justice. But I just haven't got the cooking space to do everything in the uh, oven so we've got our duck fat roast potatoes in the ultenic we've got our stuffing balls in the ultenic and like i said i'm going to put the uh, pigs in blankets and the uh, yorkshire puddings in there in the fill fryer there. good old fill fryer right so there we have it 15 pound christmas dinner from heron foods that has been 50 minutes now we've got another 20 minutes or 25 minutes or so before the tin foil comes off. This takes 35 to 40 minutes. So we're gonna cook that in there. So we're gonna cook this now for another 20 minutes. We're gonna come back, take the tin foil off that, and that's when we're gonna start putting our roast potatoes in, our pigs in blankets and stuff. Uh, the, the microwave bowls are shit, unfortunately. I'm gonna be microwaved and they'll be done about 10 minutes before everything comes to fruition. And at the same time, we'll put our Yorkshire puddings in the fill fryer. So, uh, oh, stuffing balls. They'll probably go on about 10 minutes before as well, because they only take about eight minutes in air fryer. So, yeah. Hey, I'll see you in 20 minutes when I take the tin foil off that. Beauty. Just going to quickly show you as well, I've decided against the microwave. Now, the uh, sprouts and uh, the bacon said you can shallow fry them. So that's what I'm going to do with them. It's going to take a few minutes. And uh, the Chantonnay carrots with whatever else is in it. There's some, I don't know, some shit in it. Green crap in it. <laughs> I'm just going to boil them like I would do carrots. Because that's all I would carry. I would, I would boil carrots anyway. Other than that, I'd roast them in honey. So, uh, yeah. So, no microwave is being used today. And I decided that because I thought it'd just really, really destroy the meal. So, uh, definitely... Shallow fry, boil. Right, it's time to take the tin foil off the turkey. Now, I don't know what it is about red onion. Why would why would you have red onion with white apple for a Christmas dinner? I have never had that. I do like mash on a Sunday dinner and a Christmas dinner. And there's no mash, so you know. Oh, Christ Almighty! Watch yourself on, <laughs> watch yourself up roasting tin, Chris. So, you know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? To me, mash has to be on it and gravy, and there's no mash and no gravy, so I'm a bit disappointed in that respect. But there we have our turkey. All I can smell right now is that bacon, but that needs another 25 minutes in the oven, along with that. So I'm gonna get that back in the oven now, and we're gonna get our pigs in blankets on our roast potatoes, and then uh, we're gonna start, then when they're nearly done, We'll get our uh, Yorkshire puddings in, we'll get our stuffing balls on, and we'll uh, get our sprouts fried off. And while we're on it now, I'll show you now, quick, 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 quick. There is our carrots, I'm going to put them on now. Get our carrots on, get them boiling. So uh, when I'm back, in fact I want to show you, me putting the pigs in blankets on and stuff on uh, air fryers, so uh, you know I'm not lying. Right, I'll get this back in the oven. So, we'll as you can see, there is the fill fryer. In there is already my pigs in blankets. I'm going to put them on, for, on 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Hang on, I've already put it on. One minute. There we are, 20 minutes. That's on. So, I know we've got spin around here. There is the old tenant. I can't remember how to do the. Uh, you know, so it all cooks together. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. As you can see, there are our roast potatoes. Press right, and we'll start then at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. And then when uh, they're about, then they're done for eight minutes, we're going to get our, uh, we've actually turned it on. <laughs> we're going to get them on, so uh, we'll sort that out another time. Right. Carrots are on, 
the last thing to do basically is now get the uh, roast potatoes in the bottom of the fill fryer and fry our sprouts off as you can see it is all ready the we've got the uh, stuffing balls in there I know it's off camera but we've got our Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire puddings there as well I'm going to keep them warm all we need to do now is get out of there slice it up dish it up I'm not going to show you that I'm just going to show you what it is like on a plate because I've got a lot to do in very little time so uh 15 quid there's a lot of food here you know for 15 quid so uh I will crack on and the next time you see this array of stuff it will be on a plate I know I said next time you'll see it be on a plate but you know what I really need to show you that turkey joint that was cooked with the stuffing in. It's, it looks and smells absolutely superb. Well done, Erin Foods, because that does look like an absolutely banging piece of turkey. So, uh, right, definitely this time now. Oh, by the way, the turkey juices are stuck in the uh, <laughs> the Brussels sprouts and the uh, the bacon. So yeah, definitely now, it will be on a plate. So there it is, dished up. Now I know what it says, it, it serves four. Uh, it, it, it probably will do for normal people. That is three hefty plates of food. There's mine, there's Lou's, there is Connor's. Kieran has took a Yorkshire pudding. He's took some uh, roast potatoes. He's took some pigs in blankets because he came downstairs and went, I smell bacon. Uh, so he's took a little bit of it. He hasn't took any stuffing balls. Uh, I haven't put any Brussels sprouts on Connor's because I know he won't eat it. So me and Lou are be going, giving each other a Dutch oven in the middle of the night, which is, that's fine. My only gripe right now is it's missing mash and it's missing gravy. Now, I'm not going to put mash with it, but I am going to make some gravy afterwards to put on mine because, you know what I mean, I, I need that liquid. I need that liquid. I just, if I, a roast dinner, a Christmas dinner to me without gravy is sacrilege. So, uh, right, I'll get this dished up to Connor and Lou and they'll be back trying some of these and getting them down me gizzard. There it is, brothers and sisters. Our Heaven and Foods £15 Christmas dinner. Now, apart from the odd uh, pigs in blanket and the uh, roast potatoes and one of the Yorkshire puddings, Kieran had them. It basically, it's done three of us, so we're going to call it £5 each. But you know what I mean? You're not going to get a Sunday dinner or a Sunday roast for £5 each anywhere, are you? Right, turkey. And stuffing. Superb. But why people said to me when I do a Sunday dinner or why would you have roast potatoes and mash? Why would you stuff your turkey with stuffing and have stuffing balls which look like balls of paper? I'm not holding much hope for it. In fact, I'll try one now. I'm not holding much hope for it, to be honest with you. Nah. Not that brilliant. Pigs in blanket. Come on. Everyone loves pigs in blankets. Kevin loves these. That does exactly what it says on this thing. It's porky, it's sausagey. It's smoking bacon. -y. Pigs in blankets are a gift from heaven. <laughs> we can fuck that them as shit. Wait up. Some uh, roast, this uh, red onion that I've never ever had on a roast, roast dinner, ever. 
Heron Foods, what are you thinking? Actually, surprisingly tasty. Mmm. Why have I never done that before? Sprouts. It's moving. It won't let me get it. Come on, you bastard. Some of that bacon. There we go. Oh, it fell off. Anyway. Get some of that bacon on there, though. Ah! <laughs> As a kid, I hated sprouts. Hated it. But now, it's weird. I didn't have them for donkey's years because I hated them. I never hated them. But about three years ago, Louis' mum made us a Christmas dinner and put sprouts in it. And I was like, my God, them are so good. Them taste good. Carrot. Tastes like a carrot, to be fair. And there are Aunt Bessie's roast potato. Alright, but not as good as your own. Got red cabbage all on the top here. Red cabbage, red onion. But, do you know what that's missing? It's missing mash, and most importantly, it's missing this. Fucking lashings, lashings of Bisto gravy. Oh, now that is a proper Christmas dinner. Do you know what? As it happens, without the gravy, which I added myself, Bisto, uh, and the mash, for £15, uh, a normal, a normal person that's not six foot two and sixteen and a half stone, you know what I mean? A family of midgets that definitely do four of you. That did three of us and a little midget called Kieran. But even so, if you went out for a Christmas dinner, say you went out, you ordered it, you know, a, a carvery Christmas day, it's, it's not going to cost you five quid each, is it? It's going to be a lot more than that. So every food on that, that was brilliant. That was a Christmas dinner for £5, but it was missing the gravy, it was missing the mash, it was missing parsnips and stuff like that, which I would normally put with it. But then again, my Christmas dinner is not your Christmas dinner, and your Christmas dinner is not your neighbour's Christmas dinner, or anyone's Christmas dinner. So, uh, you know what, it is what it is. Heron Foods, £15, I, I thought that was absolutely banging. Bit of a rigmarole, jumping through hoops with times and stuff for cooking, but... You know what? We got there, and I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, share on all your social media, and subscribe. And become a family member of Tag Team CTB, where I fucking love you.